Alright guys, my name is Ben Guilford. I'm the owner of the Melbourne Fire Brick Company and today we're bringing you a video all about how a wood-fired oven actually works. We're filming here in beautiful Washington in the USA uh, and behind me we've got a P85 that we fired up about an hour and 15 minutes ago. Uh, so it is getting nice and hot and we're going to use that to demonstrate to you how a wood-fired oven actually works. One of the most common misconceptions about wood-fired ovens is that you're cooking from the heat of the fire. And today I want to be really clear about that uh, and say no, you're not cooking from the heat of the fire, you're actually cooking from the heat that's stored in the walls and the floor of the oven. You're not cooking from the heat of the fire. I know that sounds silly, like it's a wood-fired oven. Surely I'm cooking from the heat of that fire. And you sort of are but you're not cooking from the direct heat of that fire. Most of the heat that's cooking your food is actually the heat that's stored in the walls and the floor of the oven. And to demonstrate that, what we're going to do is we're going to take our oven behind us, which we've got fired up, red hot, ready to cook pizza, and we're actually going to take all of the fire out. We're going to empty it completely, scrape it out, clean the floor, and then I'm gonna cook a pizza in there and you're gonna see that it's not the fire itself that's doing the cooking. It's the heat that's stored in the walls and the floor of the oven. That pizza was in the oven for two minutes and 15 seconds. I actually timed it. Uh, and you can see it's cooked beautifully. A pizza cooking in an oven without any fire in it. And how was that happening? That was happening because the dome of the oven was already heated up, as was the floor. Now, that is what's called thermal mass. You heat up the thermal mass of the oven. Uh, so that's the dense material that makes up the walls and the floor of the oven. You heat up your thermal mass and it's the heat in the thermal mass of the oven that is going to cook the food. That's why it takes a wood-fired oven a, a fair length of time to heat up because you're heating up all of this thermal mass. In the P85 oven behind us, we're heating up nearly half a metric ton of thermal mass. We're bringing all of that dense material that's making up the dome and the floor of the oven, we're bringing all of that up to 400 degrees. Uh, and so even if we take the fire out, it doesn't cool down to 20 degrees. No, it, it stays hot because you've heated up half a ton of material. And then all of that material, that dense material, is really well insulated. So we keep the heat in it so it doesn't escape very quickly. And that's why all of our ovens take a very long time to cool down. The P85 takes 36 hours to cool down from 400 degrees Celsius down to 70 because it's storing a huge amount of heat in the walls and the floor of the oven, in the thermal mass. So remember guys, the, how a wood-fired oven works is you're cooking from the retained heat that's stored in the thermal mass of your oven. You're not cooking from the direct heat of the fire, you're cooking from the heat that's stored in the floor and in the dome. Make sure that when you do build an oven, uh, you make sure that you've got, firstly, plenty of thermal mass. So you've got enough brick uh, for, your, for your floor, you've got a nice thick wall to store heating, but then you insulate that thermal mass to stop the heat from escaping. Uh, so that's the principle of thermal mass. Think of it like a big thermal battery. The bigger the battery is, the longer it takes you to charge it up, but it's got more energy stored in it as a result. 